Hello, hello, hello! OMG! Welcome back to my channel! I'm so, so excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn, and I'm coming at you with my Sunday Walgreens haul. Sunday has definitely become my favorite day of the week because we got new deals, and I love to go to Walgreens. There's a lot of good stuff going on this week at Walgreens. Oh my gosh. If you are new and you just found the channel, I'm so, so excited that you are here. Would you please say hello and drop new down there? Because I would love to welcome you to this community. And I want to say hi back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to yet another video. I appreciate you. I'm sending you big, big hugs. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Are you doing any shopping at Walgreens this week? Let me know. What deal are you super excited to grab? There was quite a few things that I did not get today, so you'll definitely be seeing a second haul from me. But I did what I wanted to do real quick, and um, I'm not even blocking the big guy. OMG, he's in the other room sleeping. I'll try to get a shot of him. <laughs> when we move to the kitchen table, uh, there's been a couple videos recently without Gus, and we just cannot have that. I know a lot of you like to see him. Lillian, I'm going to get a shot of him just for you. <laughs> All right. So number one, check your Fetch Rewards account. OMG. Thank you, Diana, who commented on my Dollar General haul from yesterday, who let me know that we got new bonuses. I check my Fetch pretty much every day, but I hadn't checked it yet. So when she told me that, I pulled mine up real quick and I got a ton of awesome bonuses which made for some great, great deals today. Not all accounts will get those bonuses. Just beware of that. And please don't be upset if you didn't. There were, it was so long before I started getting bonuses on Fetch. I would see all of these people posting like, go buy this and you can get this many points. And I'd go on my Fetch and I was like, I don't have that. That's weird. I didn't understand when I was new to using Fetch that not all accounts get those bonuses, that they are random. And what I do find is that the more I use my fetch, the more I scan in receipts, um, the more those bonuses have been popping up for me. So that's awesome. I didn't care if I didn't get bonuses though, because you know, I'm not focusing what I don't have. I'm focusing on what I do have. And what I do have is an amazing, awesome, totally free to me app that I paid nothing for that just gives me points for scanning any old receipts. And sometimes if it's a partnering brand, something I bought on my receipt, I get extra points. It's the simplest rebate app to use. You all should have Fetch Rewards. I will, there will be in the description box, a tutorial on how to use Fetch, how to use Ibotta and how to use Swagbucks. Those are my top three, I use more but those are my top three, along with my referral links. If you're not already signed up and you wanna use my link, that would be great. And if you don't, that's totally cool. You know, I'm wearing one of my favorite shirts today, default setting gratitude. Always grateful for what I do have. Don't focus on what I don't have. Um, I am not working with a spend booster with Walgreens this week. Some of y'all got an awesome spend 20 earned 5,000 points. I'm so excited for you. I did not get that booster. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to focus on what I don't have. I'm going to focus on what I do have. Um, I actually did get the spend 50 earn 5,000 points. And I'm wondering if there's a way that I can unsubscribe to that one. <laughs> Walgreens, I would love to get back the spend 20 or in 5,000 points versus the spend 50 or in 5,000 points. I got that one last week. I didn't use it. I did clip it. I don't know that I'm going to use it, but I'm grateful that I got a booster. I just didn't use it today. So if you had the spend 20 or in 5,000 digital booster, this will work perfectly with a couple of these transactions and your transactions will turn out even better than mine and mine turned out pretty dang Fantastic. I'm so excited to share them with you. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. 
And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to check out a few of my videos and see if you vibe with me, if you like my content, I totally get it. Go ahead and do that. And if you don't, then don't subscribe. I get it. We are getting super close to 8,000 and I will be doing a gift card giveaway. I cannot even believe it. I'm so excited. I love to give gift cards back to you guys. All right, so let's get into these amazing transactions. I'm so excited to share them with you. There he is, sleeping on his bed in the front room. The girls made a dang fort. They're inside there. There's Viv. Hello. <laughs> there's Donna in her fort. And there's Gus sleeping by the girls. All right, here we go with the Sunday Walgreens haul. Super duper excited. I ended up getting all of this for free plus a 64 cent moneymaker. OMG. I could have done just this by itself and ended up with a humongous moneymaker. Or I could have done that and that. Both of those would have been huge money makers. But I wanted to pick up some good stuff for the house. <sighs> you know my favorites. My favorites. All right. So I did four transactions today between two different cards. Because remember, once you use digitals, they are gone. They are a one-time use. All right. So I am utilizing that 25% off of regularly priced items coupons. Now, I am going to pop a picture up on the screen Senia from Two Bright Saves, she did post a link to get that coupon on her Instagram. It was shared with me, so I just don't feel comfortable sharing it. But go to her Instagram, and if you want to print out that 25% off coupon, then go ahead and do it, and that way you can get the extra savings as well. If you do, sometimes the Catalina will also print like 20% off, I've gotten those in the past 20% off any regularly priced items um, of $10 or more. You can utilize it that as well. So on this transaction, I utilized a 25% off. So I picked up the Nexus, which is spend 20, earn 10,000 points. I grabbed the toothbrushes. I grabbed three of the regular kind, and then I did grab one of the battery operated. There are only select toothbrushes and mouthwashes I'm not even sure if there's any toothpaste. You can look online to see what's included that are giving back 5,000 points when you buy two. Nexus is a spend deal. This is a buy deal. We are using points on a spend deal like we do every dang week on this channel because we want a low out of pocket and we are still getting our points back. And then I grabbed one of these silhouettes which are priced at $5.99 regular price but we do have an IVC coupon booklet that if you have the cashier scan or you can load it digitally to your card, it will take $2 off. So my subtotal in this transaction before any percent off or IVC was $55.93. I need to spend $20 in Nexus products to earn that 10,000 points. And I already know I wanna use 20,000 in points to lower my out of pocket. So that means I have to get my total to at least $40. So $55.93, I used that $2 IVC coupon off of the Depend Silhouette that brought me down to $53.93. And I used the 25% off, which took 25% off these three toothbrushes because they are regularly priced. This one is on sale, so it did not take 25% off this because it's only sale or regular price items and the 25% came off the Nexus. So that took off $10.99, leaving me at $42.94. So I'm at my subtotal that I need to be. I also made sure I figured out my Nexus because I gotta spend $20 in Nexus products. These are regularly priced at my store for $14.49, which is $28.98. The 25% off took off $7.24, leaving me at $21.73. So I still met that spend 20 amount, okay? So let's take a look at my receipt. So excited about this transaction. OMG, it worked out so dang perfectly. I had a check your accounts 
I did have a special just for you coupon off the Depend Silhouette that was $4. I know a lot of accounts got it, but not all accounts. I was a little worried because they are $5.99. The IVC took off $2, bringing that down to $3.99. I was a little worried if the coupon was actually going to come off for $4, but it did, so I was so happy. All right, there is the battery-operated one for $5.99. No percent off came off because that is on sale. It's normally $7.49. I'm trying to give you a screenshot here. I always forget to do that. Um, all right, then I bought three of the toothbrushes at $4.99 each. The percent off took off $3.75. There is my Nexus mousse and my Nexus hairspray. The percent off took off $3.62 off each one. And there's the Depend Silhouette. I had the cashier scan, the IVC book. Now, because I'm using the IVC coupon, no percent off came off the Depends. Even though it is regularly priced, the percent off I have recently figured out by testing it, the percent off will not come off if you use an IVC because that is considered a discount, a store discount. And you can only use one store discount. So no 25% off. So my 25% off took off $10.99. I handed over one $2 paper coupon for the Oral-B. And I will tell you, it is very important on how you scan these. Um, same thing with this one over here. The paper coupon that we just got today in August PNG does not include battery operated toothbrushes, but the digital coupon I was using did include that. So I had to make sure that I scanned this one first. Any one of these had to be scanned first so that when she scanned my paper coupon, it would attach to these. No, it doesn't matter. What am I thinking of? N never mind. <laughs> That's this transaction. It doesn't matter how you scan these. OMG, forget I even said that. There's my paper coupon for $2 off. I had a digital coupon for $6 off Nexus that I had clipped six weeks ago. So this is not available to clip anymore but I had already clipped it and I think it was a special just for you. Then we just got last weekend a $5 digital coupon off Nexus and I believe every account got this one. So if you don't have the $6 one, you can print one from coupons.com. They were still available as of today when I checked. My $4 digital did come off for the Depend Silhouette and then I had the $7 off of three um, Crest Oral-B Scope coupon that came off. My subtotal was $18.94. I used $20 in points to pay for this. So I paid no subtotal, just a little bit of tax. Oops, wrong way. I did earn beauty in this transaction. I used 20,000, I redeemed 20,000 in points. I earned back 25,000. Oh my gosh, I love transactions like this. Oh my gosh. I earned back 10,000 for the Nexus, and these are buy two, earn 5,000 points. I bought four, so I get 10,000 points. When they are giving back points, as long as it's not the deal of the week, you can buy multiples in the same transaction and get back multiple amounts of points, unlike register rewards. And then I hit beauty. So 25,000 points came back to me. Now, if that transaction was not awesome enough, where I redeemed 20,000 in points and earned back 25, making that a $5 moneymaker, basically. Paid no subtotal cash out of pocket, just a little bit of tax. If that wasn't good enough, I redeemed to fetch rewards. I got back $4.70 for the Nexus and the Depends because I don't have a bonus on Depends, but whenever you scan your receipt and it is a partnering brand, you automatically get points. So I think I got like 59 points or something like that for those. So, so dang fantastic. This transaction right here ended up being a very big moneymaker transaction for me. Let's see. I got 20, I used 20,000 in points. I got back 25 and I got back $4 and 70 cents, I think, right? So like almost a $10 moneymaker just for this transaction right here. Oh my gosh, so you could stop there and just have a fantastic transaction. I, however, did not. I decided to pick up some stuff for the house, super excited. 
We got an awesome $2 off Scott's coupon today. It does not attach to the toilet paper, at least not the one that's $5, but it does attach to the paper towel. And I actually needed paper towel more than I need toilet paper. So I was excited that my store had a very healthy stock of those and I could use my $2 off coupon. In addition, it is a new month as far as Walgreens is concerned. So we have a new IVC book, which can be found at the front of the store and it is taking off $1.25 for each pack. I also picked up the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. My daughter loves the chocolate ones. And I got a, a rebate back from Ibotta, which is awesome. The peanut butter and jelly are on sale two for four. So I picked some up to stock up. We're starting to get low on peanut butter. And then the Purex is on sale three for six dollars. So let's take a look at my receipt. So there is my Kellogg's Frosted Flakes for $1.99 each. The Purex, two or three for six, one of the crystals and two of the liquids. The um, Smucker's Jelly for $2 and the peanut butter for $2. And then my paper towel for 10. And um, the IVC book took off $2.50. Now I did wanna roll a couple register rewards in this transaction. The only digital coupon I had was for the Scots. So this is exactly how I rang it up. As I have been doing, when I am trying to get digital coupons to come off and using register rewards. So far, I have been having great luck with this. Anything I have a digital coupon for gets scanned the very last, absolute last, because the system is automatically, when they scan the paper coupons, it takes those before it takes the digitals, before it looks for the digitals. So I always scan the products that I have a digital coupon for last. And I punch my number in the pin pad as she is scanning products and I wait to make sure that it says digital coupons received. As I had seen in one of Sanya's videos that I shared with you guys a while ago, that has been working for me. So I literally kept my paper towel in the basket, put all this stuff up on the counter, typed in my number as she was scanning, waited for it to say digital coupons received, then had her scan my paper towel, okay? Then I handed over my paper coupons and my register rewards. So, um, I had a dollar paper coupon that just came in our Retail Me Not for two, off of two Kellogg's. I used a 50 cent off of the Purex and a 50 cent off of the Crystals. Um, and then my $2 digital did come off for the Scots. I also used a $3 register reward and a $4 register reward. I was hoping and praying my register rewards were going to attach to the peanut butter and jelly, but it's always a gamble when you're using register rewards and digital coupons, especially if the price is lower than your register reward. But this way has totally been working for me. So even though those were only $2 each, my digital coupons did attach to something here. It could have also attached to one of the cereals because my paper coupon was off of two, so only one um, coupon attaches to one product, leaving the other product available to use a register reward. So my subtotal was $10.48. I did use $10 in points. So I paid a subtotal of 48 cents plus a little bit of tax for all of this stuff. Got nothing back from it except for some awesome products. So super duper excited. So basically all the money I made over here, I ended up stocking up on some household needs, which I love doing that. All right, moving on to the second card. I repeated this transaction basically. OMG, if something's working, repeat it. Now I did mix my Nexus up in this one. Funny enough, this store, which is right down the road, was priced different. Um, this was cheaper. This was almost a dollar cheaper at this store. Yep, almost a dollar cheaper, like 70 cents cheaper. And I wasn't certain, but these were marked at $4.79 instead of $4.99. Or no, they were marked at $4.59 versus $4.99. So I wanted to pick up a little bit more of an expensive product. Um, and I'm excited to try that. So again, I grabbed the Nexus, spent 20, earned 10,000 points. 
and I did the oral care deal again, which is buy two, earn 5,000 points. And I was excited to grab some floss, which was included in the deal as well. And all of these are regularly priced. So all I used another 25% off coupon. So it took 25% off all of this and it took 25% off of my Nexus. So there's my Nexus. Um, that was the leave-in conditioner for $16.99. So my 25% off took off $4.25. There is my oral care, which did ring up, or that was the floss for $6.49, and my 25% off took off $162. These did ring up at $4.99, I think. If this receipt is very hard to read because of the way their printer works. Um, so my subtotal was actually a little bit higher than what I had calculated because I wasn't sure if they were going to ring up at $4.59. And then there's my Depends. Again, no 25% off came off because I used that. Oh, that's my Nexus. Jeez Louise. I used my um, IVC book coupon, coupon. There it is, I think. I'm pretty sure that says $4.99. <laughs> and my 25% off came off that. So my 25% off saved me $13.07 in this transaction. Again, I used the $2 paper coupon. Now in this one, I did have to scan this first because I was handing over a paper coupon for $2. The, if I would have done these right here, no, if I would have scanned this first and then scanned these, hang on. Never mind. OMG. I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was so careful in the way I scanned everything. But now that I'm thinking about it as I'm filming OMG, I, it doesn't matter. However, the $2 stinking paper coupon could attach to this because we all know how PNG coupons are. But it doesn't matter because all of these products attach to the 7 off of 3. Never mind. All right. There's my $2 paper coupon. Then for this one, I had a $5 printable from um, coupons.com for the Nexus and the $5 digital for Nexus that we got last week. And then my $4 digital off of the Depends did come off and my seven off of three Crest Oral-B Scope came off. I, my subtotal was $20.16. Again, we are working with a spend deal in this transaction. I did use $20 in points. So I used $20 in points, I earned back $20 in points. How fantastic is that? So basically this transaction was, well, it was another money maker because you know I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards again and earned another $4.70 back. So I literally paid 16 cents in a subtotal cash out of pocket, still earned my points back. This is why you have to, if you are wanting to get a lower out of pocket at Walgreens, you got to learn how to use points on a spend deal. It makes all of the difference. So not only did I get extra product, I earned back everything that I paid. This was a really nice money maker as well with the 25% off and um, the digital coupon if you didn't use your seven off of three yet. This worked out to be after 25% off and my two coupons, $7.09, and I got back 10,000 in points. So that's pretty dang fantastic. So if we take a look at my coupons here, I had 7, 12, 16, $23, $23 in coupons. These coupons count in the system as cash. They all go towards, doesn't matter that they were for Crest, they all go towards my spend 20, earn 10,000 points. That's how you use points on a spend deal. Now, again, if you have the spend 20, earn 5,000 point digital booster, this would be an even more fantastic transaction. So basically, it was a close to a $5 money maker for me on this transaction. I took that money, I went over here, I got some more household needs. I made a, a mistake in this transaction. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was on such a hot street. I grabbed the paper towel again, grabbed the toothpaste, which is on sale for $3. And when you buy two, you earn a $2 register reward. Grab some of my high chews and a notebook. 
so that my total was enough that I could roll 10,000 in points on this. So there are my toothpaste, my notebook, which is on sale for 49 cents this week, the two Scots, can you see what's missing? OMG, and my high chews. I handed over two paper coupons for the Crest that just came in our August PNG, a $1 coupon for the high chew, thank you Lillian who sent me some coupons, and my $2 digital came off the Scots. My subtotal was dang $12.48, because guess what? I forgot to have the cashier scan the IVC book for the Scots. Oh my gosh. I couldn't figure out why my total was so high. I even asked him, did my notebook ring up for 49 cents? Because they're regularly priced at $2.99. So I was thinking that was it. And he was like, yeah. So I just went ahead and paid it and then immediately looked at my receipt and was like, oh, geez, Jody. So got right back in line. There was somebody else behind me. So no worries. Got right back in line. Did the return. Rebought them. Had him scan that. Got a $2.50 store credit, which I got here. And I did earn my $2 register reward for purchasing the Crest. I was on such a huge streak. Oh my gosh. Before this transaction here, my cash subtotal that I paid out of pocket was 48 cents on one transaction and 16 dang cents on another. I was less than $1 in cash. Oh. Then I ended up paying $2.48 in cash on this one. Oh my gosh. I still got out with about paying $3 in cash for all of this. I think that's pretty awesome. So overall, in total, how I came up with that this was all free plus a 64 cent moneymaker. Is that what I said? Yes. My subtotal for all four transactions, subtotal, was $62.06. I earned back 45,000 in points. I got $4.70 from Fetch on this, $4.70 from Fetch on this. I got back 80 cents from Ibotta on this. I got back a $2 register reward. I got back a $2.50 credit because I made that mistake over here. And submitting my receipts to pggoodeveryday.com. These are all worth, these are worth 50 points each. These are all worth 50 points each and these are worth 50 points each. So 500 points is gonna total me um, $3 towards gift cards. Oh my gosh, I have so many points on pgeverydaygood.com PG right now. It is craziness. So that makes all of this free plus a 64 cent moneymaker. But you know, my favorite part is because I am a cash-based couponer, I care most about how much cash actually came out of my bank account. Would have been less than a dollar had I not made that mistake over here. But we got out with over just $3, paying just $3 cash out of pocket, like $3.06 or something for all of this stuff. So dang excited. I am super excited to hear your deals couple of things that I'm definitely going to be picking up this week and use utilizing that 25% off coupon. I'm going to do the Tresemme deal, which is still giving back a register reward, but it is regularly priced this week. I am going to do the, I think I'm going to pick up a couple of lip glosses, Rimmel lip glosses, regularly priced so I can use my 25% off. And when you buy two, they are giving back 5,000 points. And I believe I have dollar paper coupons for those. And I still have paper coupons for the Tresemme deal. In addition, I got big bonuses on Fetch for the Tresemme, which is going to make it a moneymaker. So definitely a couple more things that I want to pick up this week for sure. So love to hear what you are picking up or what you did pick up. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're confused on how to use points on a spend deal and still get your points back because I know everybody preaches that you can't do that and that is indeed not correct, I will leave a link in the description box with a very detailed video of how to use points on a spend deal, still earn your points back, and then what is excluded because there are a few exclusions that you actually cannot use points on a spend deal. So go ahead and check that video out. It should be helpful. And that's what I got for you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again soon. Bye.